Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another digital coloring of a Canadian Shield number two page. This time it is page number nine. First of all, I ask you, watch all the way through. I know it's a drooling ten minutes or so, or maybe it's less. I'm not sure. I haven't recorded that part. I haven't fast forward it to what I want and all that uh, completely yet, but please watch all the way through. And if you can, hit that like button or rumble button if you're over on rumble or flame button if you're on Odyssey. Hit the whatever to say you like this video wherever you are. And of course, if you are not following, subscribed, whatever it might be, please do so. And thank you very much. And on with the show, this is it. So here we are, we are getting things set up for each of the panels, putting in the folders, the subfolders, uh, you know, each a folder and each of the folders for Messenger or a uh, folder for uh, Canadian Shield, a folder for the background, all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. Now I'm going to go and uh, just do a few minor alterations to things, you know, put in things that need it. But now I'm starting the coloring, getting the uh, Canadian Shield colored in all the panels, uh, putting his red and whites in. Um, I took out the shadow lines there for Messenger because I do not want my angels affected on the physical plane uh, by physical stuff like uh, light and shadow and all that. So the sun's sort of going to pass through them. You know, you can stop physically touch them but at the same time they're like translucent uh, it's going to be a, a weird dynamic I believe and here we are coloring in messenger so there we go getting him all colored in the way that he's supposed to be colored in um, I do hope you are enjoying this uh, that, and that dynamic for my angels is something I just thought of for this um, one um how I'm wanting it for all of them. Uh, you know, like, unlike uh, in issue one, Keeper, because he's not on the physical plane. Well, he is, but he isn't. He's not interacting with another person like Messenger is. Uh, he would be, if I show him again in the same environment, he would just be shown solid, uh, like any other character and light and all that affecting him. Um, the lights that are around him but so anyway back to this page as you can see I'm getting uh, all the colors there and then I'm uh, cutting in getting everything done like nicely and then of course cleaning all up everything on the different panels uh, for the different characters um, so we can uh, you know do the shading and all that and the background and make this look 1000% Excellent. Okay, maybe not 1,000 percent, but you know, I like to exaggerate sometimes. Ah, uh, but uh, what can I say? What can I can say? You know, getting uh, the white, the extra white that I put on the hair there out, and then of course I've got some other stuff to do, getting tight in. That way, you know, like I said, I can get the shading done and all uh, getting it, cutting in. A, uh, you know. It takes a bit of time, but it doesn't. Um, but it's just all the prep work, stuff that you need to do, I say, for coloring, because I'm not the best when getting the lines where they should be uh, initially. Uh, just redoing a little bit of the shield scape, cutting it in a little bit closer up his neck, like it should be there. Um, so, you know, this stuff is going good. Uh, I'm getting the belt loops in there. You know, these are just minor things that the artist forgot to do. You know, I know the characters one per thousand percent great. Well, maybe not one thousand percent, but I know it a, a little bit better than uh, the artist. But you know, so that's all right. You know, and cutting out the little bit of black because it's not supposed to be black in those areas, and you can see through and see uh, messengers um, jumpsuit or whatever you want to call it there. And of course, now we are getting the white out on this and we're cutting in the white and making it all look superb. And then, of course, we'll move on to the skin and then we'll move on to the 
uh, uh, sleeveless trench coat. Uh, and then, of course, move on to uh, the jumpsuit itself, getting stuff done, and everything that we need to. And then the boots, of course, making them look good, getting out uh, the lines a little bit, the pieces that are extra. So now I think we're able to go on to uh, the, whatchamacallit, the background. So we're getting the background in here for the Canadian Shield. You know, they're supposed to be on a, a road because the Canadian Shield is just, you know, walking. It's the next day after you know, the fight that you might have seen between him and Toxico in the other one. So we're just getting them walking along and all that. So, and I'm doing a different couple of things with coloring here um, <clears throat> for the backgrounds for the sky. Although that's gonna change because I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, reference the background the color sky from the one page before for the last panel because you know you want everything matching up when you do this you know from page to page and they're getting ready with some extra lines in the background that uh, uh, accidentally got put in uh, the pencil lines so we got them all gone uh, see there you saw me grabbing the reference for. Uh, the sky, redoing the sky in all these panels. I gotta get back just to the nitty gritty of the sky and putting it in. And now I'm putting it a road because they're just off the side of the road that the Canadian Shield's walking down. So in this scene, obviously, I think you're gonna see the road behind him and you know some trees on the far side of the road. You know, maybe there's trees, maybe there's not. I don't know in real life, but that's no biggie. Uh, putting the line in the center of the road there, and then we're going to put some grass and rocks and stuff like that in there to make it look uh, confusing. And we're using the background for thing because it's of the same background. Uh, I'm just trying to make it about the same size. And we're going to do the same for panel one and panel three as well. And again, getting the, the colors from that first panel. Uh, panel four on page eight as you see me color earlier and we're just gonna be expanding this trying to make it look you know go good with you know things so uh hopefully you are enjoying this and putting that background in uh, you end up noticing some white that you didn't quite erase so I had to go back and erase that and make it look all decent wonderful and that is good. So we're almost near the end of this uh, coloring. Uh, we're getting all our shading and our lighting in. Like I said, for the uh, messenger, uh, because he's an angel on the physical plane, uh, you're not, he's going to not be affected by uh, the light. So he's going to be somewhat translucent. So you're going to be able to see a little bit through him. Putting some shading coming down from the trees. Because I'm figuring the lighting in these things is coming from up above the trees behind them. So, you know, they're going to cast a shadow towards uh, the Canadian Shield. And that. And I'm putting stubble on uh, Mayla Cougar slash Canadian Shield's face there. Because, you know, he's been traveling a little bit. So he's going to have some stubble there coming in. Um, maybe after this issue, uh, he might be have access to a razor or something. Or be getting access to razor, so uh, maybe you'll see a little bit more hair on the Canadian Shield next time around too. In number three, it's hard to tell. Um, I forget what whether he meets up with somebody in this issue or it's after the next issue. Um, but what another supporting cast that you're going to meet? So again, like I said, we're getting close to done here. Uh, hopefully this looks nice and good uh, by when I'm done here and you know, all like it. And, you know, it's this hopefully is getting you excited for Canadian Shield number two that will be coming out soon. So this is it for this page. Thank you very much for tuning in. So that is it, page nine of the Canadian Shield color. Uh, maybe I'll do a couple minor alterations still, but that is the gist of it. So, again, thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. We will be doing this for all the pages to come for Canadian Shield and, of course, Snowdrift. Remember to keep watch, and it's been great having you watch. Uh, remember to hit the like, 
uh, comment below, hit the notification button, uh, share, share this out, yes, share this out, and of course, if you can, follow, subscribe, whatever, hit the rumble, we want to get rumbling on rumble, so, bye for now, God bless, love you all, have a great and wonderful day!